hey viewers welcome back so in this video we will be talking about uploading the whole project to online web server so online web server is basically your hosting account uh, where you host your files whenever you want to establish a website on the internet so you need two things for that one uh, domain name and also a web hosting account where you can actually upload your website and save your files whether you are using WordPress or any other CMS system or a custom PHP website or anything you will need to as an online server which is actually the web hosting that you uh, buy or purchase online so after you purchase hosting in domain name the company gives you a C panel control panel for managing your website and you can easily manage your website there so very simply as I have a website this is on WordPress on www.onlinetuting.com so I was given a C panel for this so where I can go and I can uh, see my directories I can see my online web server I can actually do whatever I want there I can modify the file so you can access that C panel you just uh, using backslash and then write C panel after your website address.com just click it and you will be taken to this page where you need to actually put your username and your password that is provided actually by the web hosting provider so you can check your email for that uh, the details will be there login details after you log in to this uh, cpanel you will see it like this because I am already logged inside this so here you can upload your website basically whether you have PHP website or you have HTML website whatsoever you can upload it here but a simple HTML website or WordPress website or if you want to install WordPress you can do using this cPanel that is very easy process an HTML website is also easy process you just need to uh, find this file section inside the cPanel and just go to file manager and upload your files into the main directory or create a separate directory for that but the PHP uh, uploading is something different because it requires database and its authentication and also its configuration therefore you will have to upload the files to the file server and the database you will you, you will need to import the database server to online database server so that is uh, a, a, a little bit difference so we will learn this how to upload this project that we have or here on our local computer you know we have this uh, uh, here you can see the folder e-commerce inside this folder we have all the files over here you can see and uh, the admin area customer functions images includes in these all files these are basically this is our file folder basically what file folder so we will actually we will have to upload this file folder to this file manager inside we inside this file manager we can save all of our files that's it and as far as the as far as the database is concerned we will need to actually import this database which has uh, six tables and or records inside that so we will we will use this export option to export this database into our uh, local computer and after that will upload or import that this database into online database we will create actually uh, there is a section in the cpanel here databases we can create a database and can uh, import our local host database to this online one and then we can actually use the configuration the password the username etc of this uh, I mean database inside our connection uh, setup that's it very simply uh, we'll export this click export and we say ok quick and format is SQL go it will take me to my computer I will save it in the same folder inside I mean e-commerce folder and its name will be e-commerce that's fine e-commerce is its name and its extension is dot SQL so it is an SQL file save it has been saved now the first and foremost thing is to actually to in order to upload this website to our online server we'll make uh, a zip file 
of this main folder e-commerce simply we'll go and send it to compress zip folder so zip folder has been created over here for e-commerce now we will go to our cpanel and we'll click this file manager and it will take us to the main directory of our website online tutoring.com I will create a separate directory for this whole project because my website is already running and uh, online tutoring.com is already running and that is hosted on WordPress so just will click go so this is actually your directory main directory I mean there are many folders you can find this is basically called public underscore HTML so inside this directory where you have all the websites and all the files so you can create a separate folder for your project and that is that can be done using this new folder option over here you can find new folder just click it and give it a name for example any name you want I will give it uh, my shop because we have specified in the links there so it will be my shop and it will be after public underscore HTML this is the name of the folder my shop just click create new folder and you can see this is my shop now inside my shop we'll double click it and we'll open it inside that we will upload basically that file that we have here I mean this one e-commerce which has all the files and folders we created locally on local computer so we'll just click this upload it will take me to another page and I will choose file from here because we cannot uh, upload the file without making a zip copy of it therefore I mm, created the zip copy of that project we will need that later to unzip as well inside the online server this is the e-commerce project I will open it and it has been started uploading now it has been uploaded you can see complete or here in the corner I will just simply back to home that's it you can see here I will just first of all extract it using this option select and then click extract and I will extract it inside this folder I mean my shop that's it now I will remove this zip file just by delete it I will delete it that has been deleted now inside this folder e-commerce we have all those folders and files we had for online uh, we had on localhost those all files have been uploaded to online server so we can actually move this to this main folder my shop we'll just double click it again and we'll select all using this select all option and we'll click uh, move file this option and we'll just move them to directly to this my shop folder M click move files and all of them are moved now to this main folder and we'll create uh, we'll just remove this e-commerce folder we'll delete that using this so these all files are now inside my shop now very simply go to that website we have created the directory this is the website okay this is the main website and inside this website we will write backslash and then my shop we have our website or project there just click it and you will see this thing the connection was not established access denied for user root localhost password no we actually added the database connection error so that has just given the error that database is not established and there is no products and no categories no brands etc because we have not yet imported uh, the database that we exported to our computer so we will need to actually create a database is inside the online server and then import that database and then make the connection making changes to all the connections inside the functions folder inside the customers inside the main includes folder so we will make changes to those uh, I mean uh, database connections 
and will make them according to this online server online database so then all of the I mean this error will not be there and all of the content you will see over here on the website so that uh, we have uploaded this website to online server you can see this is now on online server www.onlinetutoring.com my shop so in next video we will done the we'll do the database work so it will be then live then we can check paypal stay tuned